We begin tonight with the proposed revival of the death penalty once again gaining traction in the Senate after the President renewed his support for the controversial bill. Mayanos Banyos with a report. President Duterte was clear in his fifth State of the Nation address that he desires the revival of death penalty for drug-related crimes. There have been attempts to push for the bill in the Senate, but the talks eventually died. Senate President Tito Soto attributes this to the long list of crimes that were suggested to be punishable by death, something that majority of senators do not favor. Soto says for death penalty to stand a chance in the upper chamber, it has to be limited to high-level drug trafficking. If it's confined to high-level drug trafficking, we stand a good chance of having it passed. Otherwise, uh, I'm telling you now, uh, He is open to sponsor the bill provided that it is limited to high-level drug trafficking. He once filed the bill for the reimposition of capital punishment, but no less than Senator Richard Gordon, chairman of the Justice Committee, which is assigned to hear the bill, refuted this. Citing an international treaty ratified by the Senate, he said the country cannot impose death penalty on any crime. I don't, I'm not going to hold the hearing. I don't believe it. Just imagine, uh, pagka tayo nag uh, hearing dyan, yan ba talaga ang priority? Ano ba ang priority? Death penalty o mahuli yung mga pumapatay. Like in the previous session, pro-death penalty Senator Manny Pacquiao might head the subcommittee that will hear the bill. Senator Ping Langson, who formerly served as PNP chief, throws his weight behind the controversial bill. But for Senator Grace Poe, until there is no reform in the country's justice system, the innocent poor might bear the brunt of the death penalty's revival. Over at the House of Representatives, former Speaker Pantelon Alvarez doubts the bill will see the light of day in the lower chamber. Pinasana namin yan ng 17th Congress, no? That was a very controversial bill before. Mm. Uh, binaba namin sa Senado. At uh, wala namang nangyari doon. Majority Floor Leader Martin Robaldes assures the public that the measure will be deliberated thoroughly. For News 5, May and Los Baños, we are One News.